hello beautiful people welcome back to the channel on today's video we are going to learn to do something extremely useful for a uber clone a taxi app a cab app which is location search autocomplete and basically that is the b the ability of just clicking here on your destination typing your location and having Google helping you to auto complete where you want to go, auto complete where you want to go. And the magic is that the location is going to change. We are going to make sure that this is uh, according to the country you are in to make sure we only display locations in your country or your area, whatever you want to define it as. And you can just click. And this is super useful to the users because they are really going to need this. And sometimes you don't really know how to type something. You just start and when it auto completes, it helps you a lot. So if you are excited, I am excited. Let's get straight to the video. Boom. So guys, before we even get started, I wanted to give a very big thank you to today's sponsors and they are Skillshare. If you don't know what Skillshare is, Skillshare is a learning platform and here you can learn almost everything. I personally use Skillshare, as you can see here, I'm learning Spanish and Adobe XD. As you know, you can use Adobe XD to build Flutter apps, so you can just come to Skillshare and learn it. And uh, it's not only related to programming. You can learn about time management, product management. They have courses of Python, data science. I mean, almost everything. And on top of that, I have good news. If you use the link in the description, you're going to have two months for free of Skillshare. And the good stuff doesn't have to hand there. Because I'll make the Uber clone course available only to those students who enroll to Skillshare and it's free. You just have to go there, enroll to, to Skillshare, send me a screenshot. I'll leave the, the, the everything in the description and you're going to be able to know how can you do that. But if you want to support the channel, if you want to learn something new and if you want to be part of the Uber clone course I've available on my website, go and enroll to Skillshare. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to the Uber clone course. Well, uh, in this video, I am going to teach you guys something extremely important that uh, uh, cab, taxi app, Uber clone, whatever you want to call it, app, uh, must have it. And that's the uh, 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 location search autocomplete. That feature that allows you, if you're trying to type a location, you basically get it out autocompleted. And uh, we want to make sure that that's going to change according to the to the country of the user, right? Uh, for this video, we are going to implement that in a very easy way, and in in, in the future, we are going to develop that uh, furthermore correctly. Okay, now uh, going going straight to it, the very first thing you will want to do is uh, you have to make sure that you have this package. Where is it? Here. Do you see this Google Maps uh, web services? You have this package, and uh, make sure you have what's that? Google Maps uh, Flutter. And make sure you have Flutter Google Places. These two dependencies are important for you to be able to do this, right? Now, uh, what are we going to do here is that so that when the user taps here on this text field, he's redirected here, right? Now, let's go back and implement that using code. Uh, if we go back to our home, uh, now I just save this and if I click nothing is going to happen okay this is what we want okay Let me minimize this uh, what's going to happen here 
is worse. Here we have our text field, right? This is the text field responsible for the user's destination. Okay. So uh, before we work with the text field, let's come here and we need a couple packages. As a matter of fact, we can come down here. Okay, <clears throat> sorry. Let's uh, use on tap because we want to execute this as soon as the user taps on the text field, right? The very first thing we're going to do is prediction, and we're going to call this p. And to have this prediction, I misspelled this. We are going to import our uh, Google Web Services, right? Uh, P is basically the location or the place we are going to autocomplete or to predict. And we are going to make that equal to a weight because obviously this is a synchronous. We have something called places autocomplete. Uh, now for the places autocomplete we'll need to import flat uh, Google Maps places uh, now places autocomplete dot show this is what we want there are a couple let me put this uh, as a full screen there there are a couple things to define here as well the context and the API key okay the context is something easy because you can just come here and write context because we want this to display on our current context and the API key you are basically going to use the same API key as the API key you are using on your app so you can go there and just copy your API key And make sure you use your own API key, not the one I'm using here, because probably after uh, this video, I am going to disable this API key. So you make sure you use your your own API key. Okay, I have the API key here, and I'll paste it here. Now, what do I have to do after I have my API key? Uh, there are other properties here, and one of them is called. You can define the mode, but I'll not come to the mode now. Language. It's important uh, to define this, and since I am currently in Mozambique and I want the locations to be in Portuguese because the places here are in Portuguese I'll use PT PT is the short for for Portuguese but you probably are going to use EN for English because probably the country you are in you speak English so uh, you are going to use uh, the code for the language if you don't know just go to Google and uh, Google for the code of the language you use in your country good now, there's another uh, thing which is probably one of the most important because let's suppose we have um, MG Road, for example. We can have MG Road in India, maybe they have MG Road in Nepal and somewhere else in the world. So you want to make sure that the locations are going to be auto-completed in accordance to the country you're currently in, right? So to make that possible, you are going to use uh, components and this is a list and uh, inside of components you not new we don't use it you're going to use component now here we are going to use the component we are defining and this is component dot 
country and you can use because you see the values here you can use locality uh, if you want to filter this in a particular city right but I'll make it easy and I'll just use country and now you're supposed to put the country code you're in here my example is going to be MZ but probably uh, for your particular country you are going to need the country code of your country if you're in India you're going to use IN if you're in um, the United States you are probably going to use USA you are going to use UK to the United Kingdom so probably I mean you get the point ZA for South Africa and this kind of stuff uh, and uh, this is all you need to do you need to do for now let's do let's run a small test and see if things work fine Let's run a small test and make sure things run fine. Uh, where's the thing to activate my location services? And this is probably a, an issue with my connection because my connection is not that good today. And actually, it's not a case of not being that good. It's bad. Okay. It was just my connection. Now, uh, let's see the magic. If you tap here, you're going to be redirected here. And what you have to do here is start typing the location. And I'm typing one of the places here. And if you see, uh, this is filtered to Mozambique, right? These places are in Mozambique. So you can just, boom, done. But there's something else uh, I want you guys to do here that it's important. The reason why we have this variable P is because we want to make sure that if P is not null, If this is true, we want to use upstate dot. Uh, I didn't define this method. Okay, for this video, uh, we are going to leave it here, and for the next video, we are going to continue, uh, basically doing something once we are able to get the location. Because now we are just. Uh, let me show how the flow works. Because now you can come here type a location and uh, then nothing happens but you have the location so on our next video uh, we are going to start to actually do something once we have the location like for example uh, uh, having the, the route from our point to the particular location so I hope you guys uh, like the video and I hope you guys learned something from this Leave your like, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, see you guys on the next one, peace.